Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a full face of luxury makeup. I always say I love any kind of makeup from drugstore high-end to luxury and indie of course. But I do have a soft spot for luxury makeup. I love the packaging, I love the experience as Morgan Turner likes to call it. And I often do really like the quality of these products. There's something about the finishes that, no, cheaper brands sometimes seem to replicate, but not all the time. So I try a little bit of everything and that way it keeps things interesting. So today I have a nice combination of some Guerlain, some Chanel, some Dior, a lot of French brands now that I think about it. <laughs> uh, some Charlotte Tilbury, of course. Um, yeah, we'll. I have a whole bunch of makeup in front of me and I'm not sure what I'm going to pick yet, but those brands will surely be included. So if you're new here, hi, thank you so much for clicking on my video. My name is Cecile, I'm 29 years old, I live in the Netherlands and I upload a couple of videos a week with makeup related content. So if you'd like to see more of that, then please consider subscribing. Also follow me on Instagram or TikTok if you'd like to see more of my makeup, fashion, life stuff, <laughs> then please follow me over there. And now let's get into the full face of luxury. So I thought I'd do a little bougie and wear all my gold jewelry. I have to add, this was all very cheap. <laughs> but that's okay. It looks expensive in my opinion. Look, I have these little dragons. I think they're cute. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm going to start with the eyes and I'm going to make my first and probably only exception for today's video because, well, I do have a couple of high-end eyeshadow primers, but for today's look, I kind of want to use a casual, more light coverage eyeshadow primer and I always use my Essence for that instance. So this is the Essence I Love Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base, same as in my last video. Eyeshadow base is one of those things that I don't really feel like investing in a luxury uh, item. It's just, no one's going to know, <laughs> no one's going to see, this one works fine. Alright, so the palette that I want to use for today is my Dior Birds of a Feather palette. This is in the shade, or the, the palette is called Nightbird. This was from the fall collection of last year. And I only used it once on camera, so I feel like it's okay. This is one of my favorites. I think my absolute favorite, I have it right here, is Black Bow, which I have used many times. And this is from their regular collection, so their permanent collection. And this silver is just stunning. I always want to use this. But <laughs> since I'm wearing this neutral outfit, this palette should be beautiful as well. It's just that you probably can't get it anymore. But for those of you who have it, Maybe this is a chance to pick it up again. And I mean, it's not that old. It will probably be available somewhere. <laughs> anyway, it's just too beautiful not to use. So I do like using these little sponge applicators. I know someone <laughs> commented on my last video where I used this saying uh, she was impressed that I got a look out of them. But I find them easier than brushes with these types of big chalet eyeshadows. So I'm probably going to use a brush for in the crease, but I'm starting off with the sponge. And I'm going to start with this pale yellow gold shade. Wait, maybe this is a little bit better. <laughs> I'm not sure what the look was that I did last time, but I'm sure it'll be sort of similar. That's the beauty of these quints. You still have enough options to make slight changes every time but you don't really have to think about it very hard so I'm going to apply with this little applicator and then blend out with one of their little brushes I think I might stick to the top three colors for this look even though those tealy shades are beautiful of course you see how beautiful I'd say these are satin but they're leaning metallic they do have beautiful finish I'm just building it up and I'm taking it slightly in a diagonal I'm going into the green shade and I'm putting that right next to it also in a diagonal The 
thing is I learned how to do eyeshadow using these little applicators and brushes that come with the palettes. I know it's a little bit bougie, but one of my first palettes was actually from Chanel. And I got it as a gift, of course. <laughs> I didn't have enough money to buy it myself, but... My mom has always been very generous and she has, she has gifted me nice stuff over the years. So my first palette was a blue Chanel. Uh, I still have it, by the way. And I just did the same look with it every time. I think I used all four shades. They went from light blue to dark blue. And I just put them on top of each other. That's what I did. And I don't know, I don't think it looked that bad. Later, of course, I, I bought all kinds of shades. I also bought Bourgeois. They had this beautiful um, turquoise, <laughs> which they had in singles. And I would just put that all over my lid and I think it looked quite pretty. But yeah, I've always loved luxury makeup. I think I am also going to put this underneath the outside of the lower lash line and connect it. This would be a beautiful two shadow look. I am going to blend this out a little bit more. And now I'm taking the smaller side of the applicator and I'm going into the central shade, which is this peach. And I'm just going to put that as a little accent right there on the inner part of the lower lash line. I think that's cute. And then I'm putting the yellow in the inner corner. So that's all the bases down. So there are these little brushes in the palette and I like to use these because they're not so contaminated with other shades. And I'm just going over the edges. These brushes are really not that great, but I guess they do the job. I just want to soften the edges a little bit. So I think this is the eye look. Yeah, I think I like it. These are of course beautiful shades, but I just stuck to the top three and I think this looks beautiful. I love the way in real life, especially how the green sort of seems to flow out of the yellow. On camera, there's a bigger contrast, but in real life, it really flows beautifully. I'm going to finish up the eyes using my new gold eyeliner from Chanel. This is in the shade Or Antique. I'm just putting this in the waterline. This is in their new formulation and they're really good. This gold will be visible all day. And then we need something of a mascara and <laughs> I thought I'd get a little bit funky with it. I love colored mascaras and no company does colored mascaras better than Yves Saint Laurent. I actually own three colored mascaras from there, from them <laughs> at the moment. I have this burgundy one, which I use a lot. So I'm just going to put that aside for now. But I do have these two extra fun shades that were from a limited color limited edition collection a couple of years ago. I also had a, a pink one of this one actually. And I have this green which I'm going to use on top and then I have this gold which I'm going to use on the bottom. And I'll zoom you in real close so you can actually see because it's subtle but I like it. These are by the way not waterproof at all. Just so you know <laughs> if you have teary eyes stay away from these if you can even get them at all. But I think they're fun. I like the shock or the regular mascaras in the colors better. The formula is better. But these, I think it is the Couture collection. They do have fun shades. They also have a bright cobalt blue. I think they had a sparkly black. Yeah, I think that's nice. Look, <laughs> that's fun, right? <laughs> it's not extremely noticeable of course but i think it's fun now the gold one is a little bit more subtle because it doesn't have a lot of base color but i think because we use the gold eyeliner 
you can probably see a little bit of sparkle. I think you can see it on this side. It's just, like I said, it's subtle, but it's cute. The thing I like about luxury eyeshadows is that even when they're very colorful, they're still wearable. Um, they just, they're, they give pretty looks. It's not all about the drama or the, the impact. It's more about using color to look and feel prettier. And I always do feel pretty when I wear a Dior or Chanel eyeshadow palette. And there's hardly any fallout. I just wiped away the mascara, not really the eyeshadow. So that's a bonus too. All right, now let's get into the face. I have a couple of options here because I do own a couple of luxury mas uh, mascaras, foundations. But I think I want to go into my cushion foundation by Chanel. I sort of neglect this one, so I feel like it's good to use it. I think they still make these, so that's good. Uh, I'm going to use a primer first and I'm going to use my Laura Radiance Primer by Guerlain. This is one of my favorite primers for long-lasting abilities. It's sort of similar to the Milk Blur or what's it called? Uh, not the blur, but uh, the gripping primer by Milk. At least that's what I've heard. I don't own that one. Except that this one also gives a nice glow, but it really does make your makeup last a lot longer. You just have to spread it out, wait for it a little while for it to become a little bit more tacky, and then it really grips onto your makeup. So I wouldn't advise this with a very thick, matte foundation but for something like a cushion foundation it's perfect so for today i'm not going to use the little sponge i know i usually do but they're actually not that practi practical i think i'm just going to use a brush this is the buffing brush that i've been using lately and i think it'll go perfectly right in here so i get it get an even application and the shade that i'm using right now is br12 it's a little bit too pink for me. I also have B20, but that's a little bit too deep for me right now. So I'm just sticking with BR12. This is actually the first time I'm using a brush to apply this. It's definitely faster. And I do feel like I get a little bit more coverage like this. Yeah, definitely a lot more coverage. The thing with the little applicator is that it's fine if you apply the first layer, but then if you want to add a little bit of on top, the sponge takes away the previous layer. So you end up with patches. This is a beautiful foundation. <laughs> I knew that of course, but like I said, I haven't used it in a little while. It's nice, natural, slightly glowy. I'd say it's a light coverage, but it definitely covers enough for me. It covers my unevenness in the skin. That's what I'm looking for most. I don't really care about blemishes poking through. I even don't really care about a little bit of redness because I feel like it enlivens your face a little bit. So this is nice. I feel like I look a little bit less gray like this. <laughs> And for a cushion foundation, this one actually is pretty long lasting. It sets down a little bit. Only if you start to sweat a lot, <laughs> that's when it'll break up. But right now I should be fine. For concealer, I'd love to try my Dior or use my Dior concealer because it's a little bit lighter, but it's at my parents' house. So I'm going to use my Pat McGrath, which has quite a bit of coverage. So I'm only going to use a little bit. I want to keep this look a little, a little bit more light. I'm just going to leave that be. And now I have a high-end option, but this is just what I always use. I, I do own brow products from Dior and from Clarin, and I like them, but I'm, I'm really fond of my current brow routine, where I use the ABH Brow Freeze and then something of a, a pen on top, like the NYX one. So I'm just going to do that. <laughs> All right, now I'm just going to go with my finger and blend out the concealer. I 
Yeah, I don't think I should have let the Pat McGrath concealer sit for so long. <laughs> it's definitely becoming a little bit too thick to handle. But I like it. It brightened up my under eyes perfectly, but it's not too light, so it's not that stark of a difference. All right, now we're going into powder. I wanted to use my Gucci powder, but since it's also a little bit pink, I think it'll become too pink altogether. So I'm just going to use my favorite Dior powder. This is their lovely cushion powder. And I do like to use a little applicator with this. It's a little sponge. It has a mirror. And then you open the lid and the powder is in there. And this is a skin toned powder for me. It's not brightening, but it's really not that deepening either. And I'm just going to softly, I think I'm going to set my whole face today. I'm going on a walk in a little bit and it's quite sunny today. <laughs> so I feel like I need to put on a little bit more powder than I usually would. And this is the perfect powder to do that. It doesn't mattify too much. And I just use a little bit. See, there's still some radiance peeking through. And now the color is a little bit better as well. So I'm just going to cheat one more time and use my NYX Lift and Snatch. I don't have a luxury eye pen. And because this one is so good, I don't feel like I need one. For bronzer, I want to go with Charlotte Tilbury, and I have two options. I have her regular bronzer, which I love, but it's a little bit light. And then I have the bronzer that's in this palette, which I love just all the way, but I use it a lot. So that's her bronzer from the Bronze and Glow palette. I think I'm just going to use both. This one is actually more of a contour shade, but on me it's always more of a bronzer. So I'm just going to put this a little bit more precisely on my face and then I'm going to blend it out with the lighter bronzer I always forget how lovely products blend out on top of powder I never powder my face anymore or maybe it's just that uh, cushion foundation is so good underneath so that's bronzer one I do like to use this little trick to make sure my bronzer is extra blended so this is the light shade from her airbrush bronzer I'm just going to add it sort of on top and it gives it this really nice airbrush finish I must say Yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> You'd think it'd be too much to add an extra bronzer, but it looks sort of more smooth right now. For my blush, I want to go into the palette that I've been using as my mirror this video. This is from NARS. It's the Orgasm on the Beach palette. It was limited edition uh, last summer, but they always have a palette like this, so I'm sure they have one that's sort of the same. I did use that little bit of peach, so I'm going into this shade, which is called... Montezuma. This is actually my favorite shade in this palette. Oh, it's perfect. It's exactly the same color. And with these blushes, you don't really need a highlight anymore. They're so shiny. I do see that I have some slight blending to do right here. Just going to take this a little bit lower. That's where I can really see that this foundation is a little bit too pink for me because usually this wouldn't be as noticeable. But now that the foundation is so pink, this really looks very brown. <laughs> but I think it's okay. I'm not going to use any highlighter. Like I said, this is pretty glowy and I feel like my cushion foundation also gives enough glow underneath the powder. 
So I'm just going to keep it like this. I think it's glowy enough. So that brings us to the lip category and I hadn't actually picked something out yet. I think this could be fun. This is the Rouge, Co Rouge Coco Flash from Chanel in the shade 146 Dazzle. And it's sort of a red with a peachy undertone. So we're just going to use this. It's so intense, it's so cool. But it does look really pretty with the inner corner and with the blush, so... I'm just going to keep it, I like it. But I forgot how bright it was. <laughs> Alright, so this is it for my finished look. Full face of luxury makeup, what do we think? I really like it. I think the, the lipstick is a lot, but I do like the look overall. So definitely let me know what you think of this look and of these products in the comments and I will see you in the next video.